just a good old boy. Well, all right, y'all. We are at my uh, town's Fourth of July parade. Um, every year they do this. They'll have the steam engines, which is the big major attraction of the parade. Always has been is all the steam engines that's, that's in it, or uh, tractors, steam tractors, whatever you want to call them. Um, that's in this thing. I mean, they've got every kind of brand there is. Most of them's cases though. Um, but they've got a little bit of everything. I did see one that was a Massey, something Massey. Uh, this is my brother-in-law's uh, family's here. They his family has three of them. His uncle, and, uncle and cousins, I think, have the other two, and then him and his dad and brother have the one right there. It was a stationary one. But it was a, it was a stationary one that originally powered something like Solomon or something by the belt. And his grandpa or one of his grandpas uh, mounted this thing on a truck frame, and they made it to where you could drive it and everything, um, which is pretty cool with the way he did it because he took a rear end and, and made it to where it would run off the pulley and then. Uh, had a clutch and the transmission and everything in it and then you put a regular rear end in the back to to drive it off of and it's he can change gears and everything in it but i'm just gonna let y'all watch these things and listen to them um <clears throat> let them work a little bit pulling these trailers and kind of let y'all just take it all in at the end of this or towards halfway through this we go uh, to the hay field and start rolling hay um, so stay tuned for that if you're interested in that. Just check it out. These things are really cool.
the parade. Now we're mailing hay today. Today is, well, obviously today's 4th of July, so. <clears throat> the unfortunate part about being in agriculture, farming, ranching, whatever is, a lot of people's made the comments to me before that I've known over the years. Oh, you get to make your own hours, take off when you want to, do what you want to do. Uh, if you got something comes up you need to be at, you can be there if you need to be. And well, honestly, that could be the farthest from the truth. Um, we work nearly every day. Christmas, I've worked Christmas, I've worked Thanksgiving, I've worked Fourth of July, countless times. Nearly Fourth of July, we've worked before all day. Um, but like today, I was hoping not to have to do anything today, but they're saying rain, so we're having to bail hay today. And then uh, hopefully we'll be done later and we can go uh, cook out. Maybe pop some fireworks off. Tomorrow we're having a big family get together. Uh, my brother-in-law and my sister are uh, with his family right now. Um, if y'all would please keep them in your uh, thoughts and prayers. His grandpa uh, just passed away and they're having to deal with that, um, which is unfortunate. But. Uh, y'all would please keep them in your thoughts and prayers together they have three which i may have already went over they've got three of those th uh, steam engines his family does they've got the one that was stationary which i probably already told you all about and then they've got two more um uh ones i know one's a case Ooh. they said what the other one was i cannot remember what it was for the life of me. Um, I'll have to look back in the video and remember, but y'all probably see. I know I got video footage of it. Um, but they run them every year. It's crazy. The folks around here in town, they get together and do that every year uh, for the parade here our town and it's a big thing I mean there's a lot of them they used to be I'm pretty sure my brother-in-law's dad told me there used to be more than there is now but there's still a lot of them um, there's every bit of 20 25 of those things there uh, and they're all a little bit different I mean a lot of them are the same but then they they each got their own little carry characteristics about them that's pretty cool um, I know one of them was there I don't know if I got footage of it or not they have a steam powered piano that blows whistles and they play music with it um, that runs off the steam off the um, off the engine uh, on the tractor that's pulling it so our steam engine is pulling it <clears throat> that was pretty cool and then just little different things they got little ones I mean I seen some that was real small and I seen some that, that was uh, and they've got the great big ones too um, they also do tractors which I wasn't in that part because I was with them doing the steam engine part uh, they also do a float uh, floats go behind the steam engine and they'll be pulled by tractors or trucks typically i know there used to be a lot of tractors run in it uh, which y'all have seen the i think the first one that was in line was that massey uh, 200 series of, that uh, i got a little bit of footage of but they have farm alls john deers i mean it's all different kinds of tractors massey's saw a lot of 135s are real popular around here that was kind of the go-to tractor around here back in the day for the longest time was the little 135 Massey's. Um, there's a lot of those in it. I told my wife, I said, we were to make a float one here. Go out there, hook it up to one of our tractors, maybe this one or the new one, and uh, run it. I want to, eventually my plan is is to take the 383 and completely restore it, the cab, paint it, everything, 
put a new cab of kit interior in it uh, whenever that day comes probably go go through the motor eventually and completely overhaul it to like new which we haven't ever done and it's got lord i don't even 60 I know it's got 6,200 hours. It's probably working on 7,000. I haven't looked in a really long time and actually looked at the hours on it and paid attention because typically I don't run that tractor anymore. Uh, my grandpa feels real comfortable in it, so we let him run it. Uh, I generally stay in either this one, the new one, or the McCormick. I've been running this one and the McCormick a lot, and Dad runs the the new one quite a bit. Um, he's pretty well taken that tractor over and runs it for everything all the time, where it's round baling mowing or whatever it is. So that's kind of <coughs> that's his tractor, I guess you could say. I still like this one though better than any of them. I like the 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 ride on the global series versus the old 5400 series which this one doesn't have cab suspension or anything and then it's got michelin tires on it which doesn't help it either um they're great for wearing which i've talked about that many times but they're not the best for a ride and comfort um but i like the trail boards personally that's just my my preference i think that that's probably the best tire Yep, we're rolling. Glad. Uh, well, I hadn't even talked about that. It's the first time I've used the uh, cloud since uh, we put it back together. So I don't know how it's going to do, but it's working right now. So that's all I can ask for. Um, I'm sure I'm proud to have it back. I'll tell you that. I missed it a lot. I tell you, these things are hard to beat. Um, I've probably been one of the biggest advocates for these balers on social, well, on YouTube, period. I don't know, well, I know Brian SLC Farms has the new Force 480, his new 480, but I was probably the original person to even have a Klaus on YouTube as far as uh, the variant uh, series goes, it's this style. Uh, I mean, obviously, there's been other people, but I mean, before me, besides me, but I think here in the United States, I was probably one of the biggest channels to ever have that I've seen with these personally. I, I don't know, and I can't watch everybody, but I think I had the biggest channel one. Um, and they've been really good. I love their mowers. They've been really good, good to us. Their mowers have. Baylor's been really good to us. I would recommend this company to pretty much anybody. Um, and I, I did with Brian at SLC Farms. Uh, he he talked to me quite a bit about purchasing that uh, 480 um, that he bought, and we we talked about it. He had a couple different options there, and he decided to go with the Klaus. As far as I know, he, he, he's really glad he did. He's had good luck with it. And I know a lot of people that has the four, 480, 460s, and they love them. Um, and really, really like them. There's a couple things, though, I wish that they would change um, and make and make a little bit better. Uh, just little tweaks here and there. Uh, but other than that, I mean, they're more one of the best failures on the market if you ask me so thank y'all for watching please comment rate subscribe me and white's gonna build a little more hay and we'll see y'all next time